It's been a record-breaking wildfire season across Canada. In Alberta alone, over 1.7 million hectares have burned, leaving nothing behind but scorched trees and shrubs. And fireweed. Even if you didn't know what it was called, you've likely seen it. A distinctive spiky plant with loads of purple flowers. And as the name suggests, it thrives after wildfire. It is a species that needs light and, and lots of nutrients in order to thrive and therefore um, it, it really takes off after disturbances. That's right. Fireweed grows on the forest floor, but until the tree canopy is cleared, usually by fire or logging, it doesn't have enough light to bloom. It also loves the nitrogen rich soil left behind after a wildfire, and that's what makes it so important for local ecosystems. As one of the first plants to rebound after a fire, it's an important source of food for pollinators, deer, and rabbit. It's also an important plant for indigenous knowledge keepers. Fireweed really is what we consider the healer, the great healer of all burns. Holder teaches her students all about fireweed on her medicine walk tours. She says it has many uses, from medicine to tools to food. But you don't even have to leave the city to harvest it. Chris Wywall grows fireweed right here in his backyard in Edmonton. And I was around the fire pit, but I used that for jelly. And then uh, I collect uh, some of the leaves to make uh, Ivan tea. And then this year I'm trying out the fireweed salve. So that'll be interesting. To me, it's a little bit floral with maybe a raspberry or a blackberry. Some people say it's grape. That's more fruity than you would ever imagine a floral would be. While there is debate over whether it is a weed or not, Fireweed is native here in Alberta. And a word of caution if you're thinking of growing some. One plant will produce 80,000 seeds, so I think one pod would be just enough. <laughs> and it just spreads like, like wildfire. Emily Williams, CBC News, Edmonton.